All right, guys, so my name is Manny, and I'm here with Ben. And uh, today we're going to be just checking out this uh, Klingon by uh, um, Soulshine. And there we go. <laughs> Klingon by Soulshine. Um, and I'm just going to be talking to him. Uh, we're friends from uh, the Tri Cities. We both kind of grew up in the area, and uh, we used to kind of, he used to DJ and do all sorts of stuff, and I used to kind of be mixed in with. <laughs> that <laughs> yeah. um, mixed in with it yeah. just a little, bit. A little um, bit so yeah i was in there uh and we kind of got to know each other um he's now in tacoma and is the uh, head chef at viva um, which is a vegan restaurant up here um and so what i was going to ask is just uh so how long have you been there mm -hmm. and um what's your favorite part about being there I've uh, been there a little bit over two years. Mm. Uh, my favorite part is probably the creativity uh, that I get over mm. there. Um, <laughs> it's really close to where we are right now. And, uh, yeah, isn't it's it like a mile and a half <laughs> or like something? It's like two miles. Super close. I hate traffic. I'm <laughs> near Seattle, so anybody near a big city, you understand. Yeah. You understand. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so that's uh, my favorite part is probably the creativity, you know, being the head chef anywhere. Uh, you decide what's on the menu and mm -hmm. you know tell people to you know you're hired or you're fired which can be tough or whatever sometimes but yeah. it's all part of the job i guess um so we were talking inside a little bit about how um you originally were uh back in the tri-cities you were the chef over at fat olives which wasn't necessarily vegan uh, i was um, a sous chef over there yeah okay you were yeah. a sous chef yep um and um so when did the transition from vegan to not vegan happen um and kind of like why did that happen oh okay uh well i was doing a, a lot of vegan specials and uh, vegan menu items over at fat olives in the tri-cities mm -hmm. and um i was noticed by viva restaurant the restaurant that i'm at right now and uh, they offered me a job so <laughs> Obviously, it's a vegan restaurant, like you said. I wasn't a vegan at the time, uh, but I am now. I decided to, to give it a shot, and it's really, really helped my health. And I mean, I had IBS for eight or nine years, and it's completely cured that. I don't, I'm not on my medication anymore. Like, I don't have to go to a doctor really anymore. So, you know, it's, it's just eating a little it bit different. Nice yeah. <laughs> it's actually, it made your life a little bit easier. Yeah. Even though you do have to be a little more, like, conscious of what you're actually bringing it now definitely definitely but uh you know overall it's been a, it's been a great experience yeah. for me up here nice uh, and then so what do you like to smoke so right now we're smoking a joint it's flour um are you more of a flour person concentrate cartridges edibles you know i i try to do a little bit of everything you know in life you have to try you have to try everything right uh, <laughs> but uh i typically stand with the flour you know, I started smoking in the late 90s, and this flower, that's what where it was. I was in Illinois. It wasn't a legal state. It still isn't, yeah. really. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know, they're, they're trying with the medical, but um, I, t I typically stand with that, with the flower. Okay. Uh, pre-rolls, I really like that. Yeah, you know, just I for did notice that you had a whole assortment of pre-rolls, yeah. which was awesome. And mm -hmm. I just realized, like, real quick, I was like, wait, you're a chef. You're probably always busy. Yeah. Just for the sake of convenience, that's probably one of the main things you do. Definitely. Definitely. Because you are, yeah. I mean, I think you lose a little bit of the flavor with that, and they might not pick you know, the best part of the buds. Like, I don't really know as a consumer how that whole process is, but mm -hmm. it doesn't seem to me as flavorful or as fulfilling I think as a, smoking it out of a, you know, a bong or yeah. you know, a pipe. Whatever. A lot of the times, what, uh, a lot of the time what people do is they'll, uh, they will have it be full flower, but maybe it's just like the mini buds or like, mm -hmm. you know, stuff that kind of falls off, um, but not necessarily be just like prime chunky. Well, like, with it being ground up, mm -hmm. you know, I just feel like it's just drier. It's not as, as good as it is just kind of sealed in the jar. Yeah. Um, it just tends to be you know, and that's how it is. But yeah, you, like this you one. You pay for the convenience. It's not like it, it doesn't have a whole lot of flavor to it. It is yep. smooth. It we haven't like sat here dying, you yeah, know, coffee. <laughs> so um, yeah, they, but you do lose a little bit of that flavor. Yep. I feel like, um, and so as a vegan who does smoke cannabis, what are some of the things that you um, maybe wish were on the market that you don't see mm. now? Um, 
Uh, good question, yeah. really. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that just goes to a whole lot of things. Yeah, yeah. I really, th I just find that you know maybe there shouldn't be some products that have milk or eggs in them. They would be better for for everybody, not just vegans, but people that are allergic to those things. Milk mm -hmm. and eggs are, you know, wheat to an extent. Not everything has to be gluten free, but right. you know, uh, but a little bit, um, a little bit more conscious towards. Uh, what goes into those products? I know uh, a lot of a lot of growers are conscious about what goes into their flour, their mm -hmm. you know their plants, but being conscious into if you're making an edible, what goes into that and what part of your consumer base can have that? Because if you have less eggs or dairy, it becomes it opens up to more people. It doesn't have right. to be labeled vegan all over the front. You know, I'm, that can be a detractor for some people. Right. But if it just happens to be and you have an awesome product, like, who cares? True. Really. And that is a really good point is, like, some people might just, like, shy away from it because it has the word vegan on it. They'll just, like, mm -hmm. write it off as, like, that's not good food. Oh, yeah. Um, and, and it's kind of an unfair thing to say. It's a, it's a cultural stigma that vegans have to go through. I have to go through it all the time. I had 16 people in my restaurant today and two were vegan. Um, wow. Two. So how was that? It was really good. Yeah? Really, really good. How was there a... Uh, like Pretty much everybody enjoyed it. I mean, there's <laughs> I always that typical good. dad that's like, oh, the vegan food just fucking sucks. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. You never get <laughs> able to... <laughs> to can't to please, please the guy who just no, wants... No, <laughs> you know, who just wants a steak or whatever. Yeah. And, you know, it is what it is. Right, you can't right. please 100% of the people all the time. Even with this video or your content yeah, or whatever, yeah, yeah. maybe some people don't like it. Yep, whatever, you just have to deal with it in life, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so with that, what's a what's a recipe that you like, um, or or something that you like to make for somebody who hasn't really experienced vegan food for like like a whole meal? Like what's something that you're just like, okay, I'm gonna dip your toe into this water, but <laughs> I'm gonna make sure that you don't drown right away. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I mean, I guess a lot of people think that vegans just eat salads or whatever but I uh, honestly just the really simple foods that people just love yeah you know and if you're doing it for somebody here in America I would probably say like a, a lasagna or a pasta dish mm -hmm. would be just perfect because those things can be very very flavorful flavorful um, and just accidentally vegan or if you just use olive oil and vegetables and some marinara sauce and yeah. just pasta most pasta is is vegan a lot of it is you're eating a vegan meal right there. Yeah. So just showing people that you kind of do it every day. Anyway, on accident. On a accident. A couple times. A couple times, right. you know, at least a few times a month. And it's not that bad. It can be really good. Mm -hmm. So. Um, let's see. And so we went through all of those. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> but what's something that you're curious about? So like as a consumer, what's something you wish was more like common knowledge or something that you were mm. you wish farms kind of or even retailers gave you a little bit more information on um, uh, well just like that packaging for the soul shine uh, it talks about it being you know a recyclable packaging and um, you know just so it does have. just more conscious about the types of packaging that you have like their plastics are made out of plant-based material so it's all biodegradable. That's great. I, I really think that uh, you know more recyclable or single-use products that the cannabis community uses. I mean, mm -hmm. think about all those joint and oh, packs yeah, and no, stuff. 100%. Like where all of those go, really. You know, so right in the trash. Which yeah, kind of sucks. Exactly. So some's re recyclable, but even that, if you put it in the trash, it's doing no good. You have to be conscious about what you do as the end user with all of that product because you're responsible for the packaging, you're responsible yeah. for what goes in, in you. So I would like to see a little bit more of this is what pesticides we use, um, you know, a little bit more uh, from maybe Washington State, just like they do with restaurants like where I work at. You can look up a restaurant and, you know, see if it sucks or not. Right. You know, right. check out their, their health record, right? Mm -hmm. But uh, you could see if a farm continuously failed their their tests did uh, you actually know washington's the only state that does not require pesticide testing really yeah 
That's see. ridiculous. It really is. We actually were walking around the that convention today. That needs to be today. more, more we're out there. Literally, the one of the only like yeah, a hundred percent. That's something that isn't common knowledge. But yeah, we're they're not required to test for pesticides. Um, Great. So yeah, that's not cool. <laughs> there's a little like sticker and a certain like um, I don't I can't remember I have it somewhere, but there's a little like designation that um, companies put on that says like we do test for metals and for all of these things um, because they aren't required and they like to show that they go above and beyond. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, yeah. That. So that that's yeah. Uh, yeah. If you're conscious and care about those things, make sure you look for that like sticker. Because well, especially when you're talking about you know. What we've done to the uh, the medical market yeah. since since it's become Dude, legal, oh, you know, since we could, I mean, what the stores have done to that, and they were really conscious about, and they built up their community. A lot of people think it's bullshit, but they built up their community. They knew where their stuff was coming from, and that's really important to them. You know, me right. as a consumer, it's still very important, but just maybe not as important. Mm -hmm. And uh, I would really like to see that you know, going on in the future yeah, and 100%. have Washington change its laws about yeah, that. That's, that's ridiculous. That's so crazy. Like, that's, no. that's fucking stupid. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, no, 100%. Yeah. <laughs> like, as, yeah. and, and that's a genuine, like, reaction. He had no idea I was yeah. going to mention that because, yeah, it's Why? it's so crazy. Why? It doesn't make sense. Um, I don't know, but we can't have weird colored candy. So. <laughs> that's great. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, uh, what else? Um, so, what's a product that you've picked up, um, you know, as a consumer <laughs> that maybe like surprised you something that maybe you walked in on a rush and we're just like here just give me that and I'm just gonna give it a go yeah um, yeah probably uh, Boggy Boone's uh, Kemi Jones really uh, I walked in and uh, met the manager over at Mary Mart where I usually go we're mm -hmm. here in Tacoma um, and she kind of recommended it. it was a new uh, product that they had in it was a, a new farm that they had in and it just it was just really good i just keep coming back to it nice. so probably something like that especially you know like i said i'm more of a flower guy so yeah yeah sweet yeah all right so um with that i think that's gonna be it we're gonna wrap it up um i hope you guys enjoyed this if you have any questions or anything like that um he does have his own channel um, if you want to shout that out, what's the name <laughs> of it? And I'll make sure to tag All it right. in the yeah. everything. Uh, so my channel is Vegan Chef Ben. I only have a few videos. Mm -hmm. uh, we've been bu busy opening up a new restaurant, so I haven't uh, posted many videos lately. So sorry for the old videos. Not sorry. <laughs> I'm really busy. Hey, so man, at least you have some I'll put some up eventually. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but yeah, make sure to follow yeah. them there. I know your Instagram's pretty active. Uh, yeah. You try to be. Yeah, my Instagram's pretty active, and that, for you, sure. You have a lot of really nice like pictures, and you talk about the food you make, so if you guys are interested yeah. in any of that, make sure you check that out. Um, where could, what's the name of that one? Oh, Vegan Chef Ben. Boom. So Vegan Chef Ben, and I'll tag all of these. Um, but yeah, thanks for hanging out, and I'll see you guys again soon. Sweet.